we'll start with number one, which is really this was late in the game because Hawkeye yeah. was going to be number one. But big news out of Sony and Marvel this week in an interview with Fandango, longtime Spider Man producer Amy Pascal said the following quote This is not the last movie that we're going to make with Marvel ellipsis. This is not the last Spider-Man movie. We're getting ready to make the next Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland and Marvel. It just isn't part of. We're thinking of this as three films, and now we're going to do going on to the next three. This is not the last of our MCU movies. End quote. So let's talk about what that means for Spider-Man No Way Home and beyond with you know, three, I, I, uh, you know, three more Tom Holland led Spider-Man movies on the horizon. It's crazy to me to think of three more Tom Holland movies and not nothing. This is nothing against Tom Holland. This is nothing. It's just that that would make him appear more than any other Marvel character. Right. Um, when you count every other and Spider-Man is the most popular Marvel character. So that's not, I'm not saying that in a weird way, but just the fact that, you know, the reason why any of this exists is because of nine. secretly one that person. Makes, that makes nine. Right. That would make nine for him. So that's, that's not including if he Jr. does, if he does any other, uh, team up movies. Yeah. That aren't, which will definitely be it. Probably. So, so you have his trilogy, you have, uh, a second trilogy and then you have civil war Endgame, infinity war so that makes nine uh rdj three iron man movies four avengers movies civil war oh so he had 10 uh, uh homecoming spider-man homecoming. oh that's right uh, yeah yeah okay. yeah and then end credit scenes in incredible hulk yeah so that's yeah so 11 he's He's on pace, though. So Tom Holland's probably on pace, considering the crossover effect, to have more right. Marvel Studios slash yeah. Sony Spider-Man well, how many movies. Did, how many did um, Chris Evans have? Three the Three cap, cap, yeah. Four. Four Avengers. Four Avengers. Uh, Home, no Way, or Homecoming. Homecoming. Yeah. Is that it? I think that's it. He doesn't pop up anywhere else. Not that I can think uh, of. Well, I mean, technically, he's in uh, Thor. Well, yeah, Dark, he is Dark in Thor. World he with, is, with yeah, Loki. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But that's so. Yeah, I guess my point on that is, and this is, but this, what we got, the glorious event that we got from this new phase of Marvel, doesn't happen without number one. I mean, a lot of people, but I mean, actor wise, it doesn't happen without Robert Downey Jr. It just yeah, doesn't sure. happen, you know. Yeah. And Chris Evans would be number two on that kind of the way that the Avengers work out as Iron Man and Captain America are one and two. And Spider-Man is in the Avengers, but he's solo by himself most of the time. So it's sort of, it's funny to me that eventually we're going to end up the way that almost the comic books end up is that Spider-Man's in the Avengers, but he's the most popular of all the Marvel characters. You know, maybe Wolverine's up there, but for the most yeah. part, we always think of Spider-Man. So it always ends up that Spider-Man's your 1A. And yeah. this is what Marvel's doing and, and playing with that. And we, you know, we've, we, we've discussed that we don't think Tom Holland is the greatest actor outside of the MCU. And maybe that's fine uh, for him to keep doing this because if he's doing this, it t- takes him away from being in other movies Cherry. so much. Yeah. Like Cherry and, you know, other things. I mean, I we haven't seen a lot of his other movies, but there's, you know, <laughs> There's not a lot of acting chops that we have really got to see from Tom Holland. And if he keeps being Spider-Man, as long as he does his Spider-Man thing, I think yeah. the movies will still be, you know, entertaining. And they they know how to, the thing about Spider-Man movies, I don't think there's a bad Spider-Man movie. There's just ones that are less good. And um per Rotten Tomatoes, Amazing Spider-Man 2 is not very not well. It, it has a very low, yeah. It's got it, like it's a not, 40, 55, yeah. something like that. But the Spider-Man biggest reason too, it, the Toby one isn't is also not the, super well regarded. The, the thing that I'm thinking now is that these next three Kingpin. Well, we'll I get think, into him in a little bit. Right. And I think he has to I mean, Kingpin hasn't been in any of these to a degree of like what Kingpin is in the comic books. I mean, Kingpin's like the the guy in the comic books. And we really don't dive into him in the, you know, obviously in the Tobey Maguire ones, 
And so it's weird to me that we haven't got to that. And it feels like this must be where it's going. Is that a, it, either it's a Kingpin trilogy or at least he's going to be a big bad in at least, I would say he has to be a big bad in at least one and a half of the movies uh, for this next three to really work. Because the best part about Spider-Man is that the villains are awesome. Yeah. And Kingpin is one of the awesome villains. So here's where I actually i think it's i think it's pretty evident that kingpin's making his way to the mcu possibly sooner rather than later right and again yeah. we'll get into that with the hawkeye i do not think that kingpin is spider-man uh i uh, last week we looked at the new uh poster that was released for no way home and we were theorizing is that venom amongst mm -hmm. the sea and, and i think maybe this is that was uh you know grasping at grains of sand a little bit no pun intended or pun highly mm -hmm. intended yeah, yeah i think um this is where i think this goes is everybody's looking at this like sinister six okay so maybe this isn't sinister six and this is just multiverse and we're just playing around with that number of six mm -hmm. we all know that venom's coming Right. Due to the end credit scene, you know, spoilers due to the end credit scene and um, uh, let there be carnage. So here's my thought. This is where I think that no way home through whatever the final act of Tom Holland, Spider-Man is, is end credits is Venom in no way home. Sure. I think that that is likely. Now you're also bringing in with, the Sony stuff, some of these other ancillary Spider-Man villains, Morbius, Craven the Hunter, those sort of things. So I think the, the first movie in the next trilogy is Spider-Man versus Venom. Not that as a title, but that's what the main... That'd be awesome if that is the title. Oh God, that would be terrible. <laughs> um, so I think that that is kind of the beginning of that trilogy. Uh, I think that the second trilogy or the second film in that trilogy is, you know, some kind of exterior threat or whatever. And that's where we start to get miles. And then I think the, the final act of that trilogy is miles takes over for Peter. I think, that's cool. the, I think that's the direction you have to go. I, I just, I, I am surprised. I also have my miles shirt on tonight. So cool. There's that. I have my Taylor Swift shirt on tonight. Um, I'm just surprised that we haven't gotten we the Kingpin when I grew up reading Spider-Man I mean it was that was almost every comic book that wasn't Venom or Doctor yeah. uh, you know Doctor Doc uh, Ock, I'm or... sorry Doctor Ock let's yeah. say Doctor Strange Doctor Ock it was weird I mean like he was in everything and we just haven't gotten him and, and like he's an interesting enough character that you could throw him in here especially the way that this Spider-Man works sure. so I feel like obviously Venom is the next move, but I feel like you have to have Kingpin in some of this to whatever degree. Uh, I would love to see Miles happen. Uh, that would be awesome just because you have to make a transition yeah. somehow. And Miles is the, to me, it's the Miles obvious. is the only, it's obvious it's the only transition. Well, I mean, you could also get into like, um, you know, Spider-Gwen. Uh, go spider you could but I, I think it's just and, so it's so easy picking and it's like yeah yeah in the so. best possible way because miles is a great spider-man like a great storyline you have right. great characters in that so you know i just, here's i'm looking at i hope i have I hope the they list do the right of, thing yeah yeah i have the list of top 20 uh spider-man villains up here as according to game rant so that's whatever um number number 20 the jackal not super familiar with him uh jane jo J. Jonah, J. jonah jameson tombstone that's kind of interesting that mm -hmm. probably fits a little bit in with um with fisk uh kingpin yeah hobgoblin obviously a little bit different from green goblin shocker which we kind of already saw in in homecoming electro we're getting him rhino they haven't done in the mcu just yet Lizard's coming back for No Way Home. Chameleon is an option. Scorpion's still out there. Uh, yeah. With um, uh, Michael Mando from uh, Homecoming. Craven the Hunter with... Um... See, that's going to be the hard part for that, though, is that the, the actor, Aaron Taylor Johnson, 
is playing Craven and he already played Quicksilver in the MCU. So right. they'd have to, you know, play with that a little bit. Morbius, Sandman, Vulture, Mysterio, Venom. Venom somehow only number five. That's interesting. I think it's probably uh, because they are friends in a lot of it too. Yeah. Carnage, Kingpin, number three, Green Goblin, Doc Ock. So we've used up a lot of over the course of, you know, yeah, <laughs> all these movies. 20 we've used years. Up a lot of, we've used up a lot of his best villains, but there's still some out there that could be somewhat compelling. The other thing is, you know, they might play around with Black Cat. Yeah. Uh, Silver Sable is an option. Mr. Negative is an option. So there's things there that are options as far as villains, because I feel like as we kind of uh, we've alluded to, we're going to get into Kingpin a little bit. I think that they're kind of keeping him to the daredevil street level, kind of what's going on. Whereas at this point, Spider Man has fought you know guys ripping off the avengers uh a guy who's using drones to create a quote-unquote avengers level threat and now he's literally bringing the multiverse in like he's not really a friendly neighborhood spider-man anymore you know what i mean so <laughs> he he's kind of a black widow spider-man he's something <laughs> yeah yeah but i mean but not this in the is scarlett big... johansson way Right. But this is big news mm, yeah. in that the interviews that he was giving up to this point were like, yeah, I'm, you know, we're looking, this is the end and it's going to be sad and brutal. And if I'm doing Spider-Man into my thirties, I've done something wrong. And then they turn around and say, yeah, no, we're making another three movies with Tom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well you know i mean he is also tom holland so they can't tell him anything that, like in all seriousness i'm not even trying to be like that funny like they literally yeah. can't tell him anything otherwise he just will spoil if they said they had there were three more spider-man he would have said this six months ago and be like the titles of the three spider-man yeah, right. movies yeah, are true. this and here's the plot so <laughs> yeah i'm still convinced that the trailers are just like they're not even what the movie's about it's just to try to keep him quiet wouldn't shock um, me at all yeah so i mean but two weeks we away are, from when this weeks, comes out yeah, yeah two weeks two weeks away and um i think that did you participate in spider monday i did not where that was I the other thing i wanted to bring up was that yeah uh they crashed a couple ticket websites mm -hmm. so this was the this was what the theaters needed you know big time I mean, that was a good way they promoted it really well. Uh, I just think like where I live, if it is a problem, I'll just see it Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I don't. You know, I, don't I mean, like I'm not going to I'm not going to like, you know, that's just the thing. I, I, I'm too. A, I was working on uh, Spider Monday, so I right. just couldn't have done it. But yeah. B, it's just like I don't. I can't dedicate my my life to like oh i have to have tickets that first day i will go and attempt yeah. to get tickets that first day i'll probably buy them in the morning or something like that yeah um but i'm not gonna go out of my way in a sense of anything drastic i will buy the tickets and then see the movie yeah. and if i see I will, it saturday afternoon then so be it yeah i will say that we will have the review on the youtube channel the first night that we have both seen it yeah. So oh, it yeah. might be Saturday, it might be Sunday. You it'll know, be we'll, in the we'll weekend say. period. Yeah, time. it'll be on the weekend. It won't be, yeah. it'll be, I say it would be no later than than Sunday. So we'll right. have it. Oh, up. no, no, yeah, no problem. Um, but we can move on to uh, you know, from that well, to well, let me ask you this before we do. Yeah. I mean, do you think yeah. this does this? I mean, you talked about the Kingpin thing about that possibly being an avenue they could go down. I mean, do you think that this news affects mm -hmm your expectations of um no way home at all no i i mean i i was one of those i'll be honest i just never believed tom holland right and so or i fully believe him you know what i mean like either mm -hmm. you feel like he's giving away everything or he doesn't know anything and so like i just everything he he says or does i just take with like a complete grain of salt and so when he says this movie was like oh it's devastating like maybe it has a happy ending. Like, you know, we, I, it's one of those things where I, I just don't know. 
Mm-hmm. So it, it takes nothing away from what I think this movie is going to be. I think it's still going to be pretty fun. Uh, I think the idea of Doctor Strange being in it probably really helps me in the idea of it being fun because like you and I have said, the original Doctor Strange movies are made better because of Doctor Strange later on in other movies. Yeah. yeah. And so I think my expectations haven't really changed. I was, I will say like, I really, I peaked when that that second trailer that we did came out where that mm-hmm. trailer really gave us a lot more information yeah. and i haven't really i've plateaued i've stayed right there i haven't dropped i haven't gained any from other little tv segments so i'm still right. pretty excited about it yeah yeah i'm <laughs> i think i've tried to go in with um pretty neutral expectations knowing that you know it's a spider-man movie it's going to probably be at least good you know yeah. what i mean but I, I think that they've done such a media blitz with this thing that I think that now expectations are really ramping up. If it's anything less than like very good, it's going to be a disappointment. You know yeah, what I mean? I, like yeah. it has I think to it's... be, especially because, and we, ta- I think we talked a little bit about this last week was that, you know, Black Widow was fine, but it was, it was overdue. Mm-hmm. And Shang-Chi was a nice, it was a nice introduction to a new character. And then the Eternals for me was kind of a flop. And I think the MCU actually like legitimately kind of need, kind of needs a shot in the arm right now because the series were kind of hit or miss. And I think that through three episodes, Hawkeye is on a great foot and yeah. Spider-Man no way home well, is maybe just the, you know, the radioactive spider bite that the, that the MCU needs right now. And I think the way Spider-Man works is kind of the idea of Christmas in general. Christmas is just, you know, technically a made up holiday to break up winter. It really is. I mean, I'm not, you know, it's, it's celebrating the the birth of Jesus, but like, we don't, they didn't actually know the exact date. So right. they actually made the date in the middle of winter to break up winter, to give people a bolt of energy. And so Spider-Man coming out is to give Marvel this bolt of energy. I think, and I think Marvel Studios knew that Eternals would not be this massive, massive hit. I right. think they hoped it would be. They promoted it like they wanted it to be. But everyone knows I don't think they thought it would do as bad as it did, though. Well, not as bad. I mean, but, you know, it, would, you know. it did what it did. But, yeah. you know, the bread is buttered with the Avengers and Spider-Man. At the end of the day, I mean, that's just the way it is. And, uh, and it's, Spider-Man comes on at the exact right point. We had a, not like a low, but a lull, and we're ready. And now all we're getting is Avengers Spider-Man movies for the f- foreseeable p- future, essentially. I mean, Do I don't we deserve- think, oh, okay, yeah. You yeah. mean you mean like Thor and... Thor and like Doctor Strange isn't an Avenger, but, yeah. you know, Black Panther. he is. You know, Captain but Marvel. we're getting people that are all associated with the Avengers. Right. Rather than new. Yeah, new, new people. yeah. Do you think this will be the first post-pandemic movie to gross a billion? I mean, with the new variant. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, it sucks to say that, and I hate to bring other things out there because it's just like, uh, no, it's just so hard. I mean, I went to a theater, you know, when we went and saw um, Ghostbusters. That's actually the most packed theater I think I've been in, and that was like a random showing of it. But mm-hmm. it, I, it, well, it wasn't the most packed. It was the second most packed theater I had. And it still was like, well, it feels like a lot of people in this theater. And, you know, this is, you know, you and I have been in movies, you know, when we saw Batman together, you know, the Dark Knight movies. I mean, we're like, yeah. you're squeezed in. They're putting people on the floor. They yeah. don't really care about fire laws. And now it's like at this point, we're like, oh, my God, there's a person three feet away from me. You know, is this too close? And so. I don't think so. I think it's just going to be really hard, but I think it will be the best grossing movie since so it started. I don't no, think that's... Right now, worldwide, American movies, because the battle at Lake Chung... The, la- mm-hmm. the battle of Lake Changjin, Chongjin, um, yeah. is the best grossing movie worldwide. Yeah. So we're talking about Western movies. Because mm-hmm. um, actually, like looking at Spaghetti this, Westerns. No, not spaghetti westerns. Oh. Uh, three of the top five are foreign movies, which is fine, you know. Right. But uh, Detective Chinatown 3 is at number five. Something about that sounds amazing to me. Maybe we need to see if we can get a dub version of that. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. No Time to Die is the best uh, worldwide western movie. 
is yeah. No Time to Die, followed by Fast Nine, Venom, Godzilla vs. Kong, Shang Chi, Black Widow, Dune. In that order, uh, you can go down Eternals number 11, 12, Free Guy, blah, 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 blah. I think it has a shot. It's going to be Omicron, close. Huh? Omicron, yeah, leader close. of the, the COVIDicons. Be damned. <laughs> the Omicron Wave. I couldn't believe um, that they named the uh, new virus after like one of Optimus Prime's mortal enemies. You can't tell me otherwise. I, I, it was so funny because I said I thought it was a Blade Runner thing. Like it was the okay. next Blade Runner movie it was Blade yeah. Runner Omnicron. And then Janie was like, oh, it's a Transformer. So, I mean, everyone's yeah. kind of on that that right path.